New from KTAL Records, 22 explosive hits. What? Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about the Dead Kennedys. Now, more specifically, I'm going to be talking about their album, Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. Now, the album came out in 1980. The version I have in my hands here is a version that came out on Cherry Red, and it is a punk classic. Now, this album is also available on Manifesto Records, and it is the Dead Kennedys album to own. This is the album that has uh, Holiday in Cambodia, California Uber Alice, has their version of Viva Las Vegas, lots of great quote unquote, punk rock classics. But it's such an incredibly powerful album. Jello was one of the most unique vocalists. You got East Bay Ray on guitar. You've got Klaus Floride on bass. And on this album, you've got Ted on drums. Yeah, Ted. Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables, fantastic. Like I said, this is the cherry red version. And there is a version domestically on Manifesto. But the main reason I'm talking about this, and a lot of people might be kind of surprised if you haven't heard about this already, but they've gone in and they've remixed the album and released it as the 2022 remix of Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. Now, I know the gentleman's name who remixed it. It's Chris Lord Alge, or it could be Chris Lord Algae, or it could be Chris Lord Algae. I don't know, but he's, he's done a lot of projects. He's been involved in the music business for a lot of years. And he went in and he remixed it, of course, overseen by the three remaining members of the band since Jello has uh, not been in Dead Kennedys for quite a while. Uh, but this it really sounds incredible. It's amazing and powerful. Now, there's nothing really wrong with the first album, but it was recorded on a lower budget. You know, they didn't have the money uh, of a major label. They had to set up their own label to put it out. And it's it's really an incredible, powerful album. But, you know, at times, you know, you listen to the drummer and you go, "Is gosh, is he in the same room? And, you know, it sounds like he's in, like, the bedroom while the uh, rest of the band are in the living room, uh, you know, recording their parts. So this really brings the drums out. It really brings all the instrumentations out and kind of gives it more separation. It's still powerful. It's not like you're going to listen to it and just go like, wow, they messed that up. No, it, you know, it, it, it's just like they dusted it off. They cleaned all the dust and what you get is this powerful, amazing sound. Now, please stick around here for a few minutes because what I want to do is I want to play you just a short medley uh, where I take two songs and I take the same segments of each song and I show you the original mix and the new mix. And I think that you're really going to like what you hear. You know, I know the old punks are probably going to go like, oh, I hate when they do this. I hate when they do it with the Beatles. Well, remember, Manifesto was not deleting the original Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. It's still going to be out there, but now you have another option. And, you know, maybe the cleaner sound, uh, and, and, and in my opinion, maybe even punchier sound, uh, is going to attract a whole new audience that are just, you know, automatically in their heads. They're going, well, I don't want to listen to something recorded from 42 years ago. You know, I want something fresh and new and this kind of does sound fresh and new so i want you to listen to this medley let me know what you think and i'll see you on the other side it's a holiday in cambodia it's just good but it's a life it's a holiday in cambodia don't forget to pack a
Anyway, that's it. I appreciate you sitting there and allowing me to talk about the brand new remix of Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. Definitely worth your time if you're a Dead Kennedys fan. But check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.